Hello, we are starting another essay um, and we wanted to put together a list of essay writing reminders. Um, so for this assignment, you will watch the video on slide one, read all the information on slides two through seven, and then if you're an in-class student, be prepared for a Kahoot quiz contest at the end. So pay attention. Um, when you are writing an essay, like an expository essay, you are giving information, details, and explanations. That's the point of it. But it doesn't mean it has to be dry and boring. Uh, you just have to follow a certain rules. One thing you, we want to tell you, there are a few things that we want you to say what not to do when essay writing. This is a big no. Never, and I mean never, ever, ever, ever write anywhere in your essay. I believe that. I think this essay will be about, I hope you enjoyed reading my essay. Today I will be writing about it. Da, 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 da. Don't tell me those things or anything that's like those things in your essay. Um, it doesn't belong in this type of essay. Things like that are fine if you are giving a speech or if you are hosting a talk show or something like that. But w those types of um, sayings are not allowed in a formal essay. Also, you don't want to begin a sentence with and, but, or. Um, those actually are connecting words and they're used to connect thoughts, they're used to connect sentences, but they are not used to begin sentences. And avoid using rhetorical boring questions. Do rhetorical questions annoy you? I have to see that is a rhetorical question. Um, thesis statements. Now, with a thesis statement, it's always written in third person. Never write you in your thesis statement or anywhere in your paper, for that matter. Leave you out of it. Um, you is what we call second person. Keep it simple when you write your thesis statement. Write a clear thesis statement um, that has, uh, it's just one sentence, and it has your topic, your side if you're asked to take one, and two reasons. Now your thesis statement, if you're writing a bigger paper, can have more than two reasons, but for our short paper that is that we are practicing for, um, we're only going to use two reasons at this time. Be creative and unique. And just because you're writing an essay that's about information and details and explanations doesn't mean it should be boring. Your number one goal should be to make sure your reader enjoys your essay. Entertain your reader. Don't bore us to sleep. Do this with creative word choice, imagery, figurative language, vivid verbs, descriptive adjectives, etc. Create visuals with your words. Now, I don't mean grab, do not grab a dictionary and start looking up all of the big words and putting those in. That's not what we mean by being creative and unique. Use a dictionary to find a better word, but not just a silly word. You don't want to come up sounding like Sheldon from the Big Bang Theory. Also be different and memorable. I can't stress this one enough. This is where your voice comes in. This is where your personality comes into your writing. This is where your writing is unique from anybody else's. So bring in your unique interest. For example, if you like dance, use dance metaphors and similes and descriptions. Same thing if you like nature or sports or whatever it is that you enjoy bring that into your writing, no matter what the topic is, bring those, those qualities in. So we will remember, your reader will remember the whisper of soft pink ballet shoes. So you get a visual from that. They will also remember aching, bleeding blisters. If something is a struggle and then you can say like dance. So like when you're learning to uh, new dances, there's a lot of pain that comes along with that learning. See, those are the metaphors that are that are the symbolism. So bring those sorts of creative, unique things into your writing. Specific examples are so important. Be clear and precise. Create a specific scenario in your reader's mind. Avoid using slang and vague language such as stuff, things, a lot, items. Be very specific. Instead, describe exactly what you want your reader to visualize. You are literally creating a picture with your words. And also we say show, don't tell. And when you tell somebody something, they don't have to work very hard on your story, nor do they get a very vivid imagery of your story, nor do they remember your story. It makes sure that this is boring. Brian was angry. He started to yell. Okay, well, that's 
a fine written sentence, but I'm not going to remember anything about that sentence tomorrow. But if you say Brian pursed his lips and clenched his fists into tight balls, now I'm getting some imagery. Try as he might, he could not contain himself. Within seconds, he erupted like a volcano. That is showing. Bailey was happy. And don't just tell me Bailey was happy. Show me Bailey was happy with all of your details. A gigantic grin spread across Bailey's face and her eyes lit up like the sky of the 4th of July. See that imagery that we created there? And we now have a visual of Bailey's happiness. Bella was shocked. Instead, say Bella couldn't help herself. Her jaw dropped to the floor as her eyebrows shot toward the ceiling. And have fun with this sort of description. When you're showing, not telling, show in a descriptive way. Use hyperbole like her eyebrows shot towards the ceiling. Like we have a visual there. She was excited to see her dad. When she saw her dad enter the gym, she sprinted across the room. Um, and, um, jumped into his arms and buried her head in his chest. And then it says an ache started deep in his stomach. He turned away as his eyes welled up with tears. And that's the best way to say he felt sad. So show, don't tell. Then we have our proofread. I cannot state this one enough. All of these are important, but oh my goodness, if when it comes time to finish out your paper or finish out your sentence or finish out a paragraph, read it, read it, read it. Most errors in writing, and I mean, you can quote Mrs. Nichols on this. Most errors in writing can be found and fixed by simply reading what you write. You know the correct way to speak. And when you read it out loud, take the time to read it out loud, if possible, now, if you can't read it out loud, because sometimes you're in a testing quiet situation, read it out loud. And I'm going to use air quotes here. Read it out loud in your head, like pretend in your head you're reading it out loud. And that's where you're going to fix those problems. You can fix the run on sentences and fragments. And you can also um, ask, is there a better way to explain it? And here's some more information about being precise with how you explain, not being vague. Um, how to correct a run-on sentence and what is a fragment. So um, these, these are reminders for that. Stay on prompt. Now, the prompt is given to you. Now, I said your most important job is to be interesting, and it is. But your other most important job is to write an essay explaining exactly what the prompt tells you to write about. The cool thing is you don't have to wonder what you write your paper about. The person who's giving you the prompt, they decided the topic of your paper. You are the one who has to then write it and make it interesting. Now, there will always be a prompt. If you do not see the prompt page, raise your hand and ask the teacher to read the prompt to you. Even if you're taking it all star online, if you don't see the prompt, raise your hand and ask, I don't see the prompt. Can you please read this for, for me? Even in a testing environment, you are allowed to raise your hand and ask the person in charge to read the prompt to you. Now brainstorm your ideas and stick to the prompt. Every sentence should time to explain and prove your thesis statement, which is directly from the prompt. Now what? Now that you've done these things, just know that you will use this to review your next essay. Also, you will make these changes in your writing. Please, please make these changes. When I am editing your paper, I do not want to see all of these use in your thesis statement and in your paper. I don't want to see all of the things such as this essay is about, I believe, I think. No, those don't belong in an essay. Thank you very much.